Hey, what's up guys? So EA has recently announced that Medal of Honor is being pretty much discontinued. And the reason being is because of Medal of Honor Warfighter's uh, flop. Because Medal of Honor Warfighter was kind of a big flop. It didn't live up to their expectations. It came way below their expectations. For example, only selling 300,000 copies in its first week. And the sales were mostly negative to uh, kind of like in the middle. Uh, for example, Eurogamer gave Medal of Honor Warfighter a 5 out of 10, G4 gave it a 2.5 out of 5, Game Informer a 5 out of 10, GameSpot a 6 out of 10, Game Trailers a 6.2 out of 10, and that was their highest rating, uh, a 6.2 out of 10 uh, from one of the big, you know, review companies, so to speak. And those are just some of the ratings, you know, the rest of the ratings are the same way, uh, seeing as though Game Trailers was the highest with 6.2 out of 10. And the reviews, the sales, uh, the community and all, it's just Medal of Honor Warfighter didn't do well. And some of the reasons why the Medal of Honor Warfighter failed uh, was because of its release date. Its release date was pretty much in the shadows of Call of Duty and Halo. And because of that release, release date, the sales didn't do well. Like I said, 300,000 copies in its first week, that's not good. And because of the sales, the community just wasn't there. And uh, the gameplay itself wasn't something that was a keeper that you saw in the reviews. Uh, you know, people will go out and say, you know, it's opinion whether or not uh, the gameplay was great. And that is true. It is an opinion whether or not the gameplay was great. But when it's a, a, a majority opinion that the gameplay isn't an amazing thing, and you see that with the sales, with the community, with the reviews, when it's a majority opinion that the gameplay itself wasn't this great thing, the game is going to flop, and that's what happened with Medal of Honor Warfighter, which is the reason why EA is discontinuing Medal of Honor. And Medal of Honor was one of the two games that was in EA's uh, release cycle, so to speak. Uh, they had Battlefield coming out one year, Medal of Honor coming out the next. Battlefield 3, uh, or Medal of Honor 2010, came out in 2010, uh, and then Battlefield 3 in 2011, Medal of Honor Warfighter in 2012, uh, Battlefield 4 is said to be coming out either uh, fall of 2013 or late, or not late, early 2014, you know, by March, I guess you could say. And with Medal of Honor being taken out of this cycle, it leaves me to think, what are they going to be replacing it with? Uh, we could see EA replacing the Medal of Honor series with the Bad Company series, uh, because that is something that they have time to to think about with Battlefield 4 being next on the schedule um, because of the fact that it's going to be coming out fall of 2013 or early 2014 they have time to think about what they want to be replacing the Medal of Honor series with and trust me they will replace the Medal of Honor series because EA is looking to make as much money as possible uh, one of my subscribers pointed out a good example of EA and their um, money ways and that's with uh, Dead Space 3 apparently you could buy weapons and in a multiplayer, you don't want to make it so that people could just buy weapons. You know, uh, I know with Battlefield 3, if you get the, the DLC, you do get weapons that people who don't buy the DLC uh, don't have. And that, it's not, as I, in my experience with Battlefield 3, that's not a huge uh, deal because of the fact that there's a lot of other weapons in there. And those weapons that came out with the DLC are, are balanced fairly in with Battlefield 3. Uh, but, you know, just selling weapons for the sake of getting money uh, with your game is just not going to really, it's not going to fall well. And with Medal of Honor Warfighter, EA admit that, admitted that it was a, an obvious miss. Um, there was a lot of controversy as well with the SEAL team uh, surrounding it about the, uh, the disclosure of the information that they, was given for the single player, for the multiplayer, all that, the, taxic, the tactics that they used and uh, so on and so forth with the sales not being there, with the community not being there, the release date in the shadows of Call of Duty and Halo. Medal of Honor Warfighter was a complete failure in the eyes of EA and because of that Medal of Honor is no longer being continued. Uh, whether or not they might reboot it in the future, you never know. They might actually do that in the future to, uh, to bring it back and, and try to get more sales. Um, EA is the type, that type of company that wants to squeeze as much money as they can from the games that they produce. And, you know, EA is not the only, um, not the only 
publisher like that. Uh, and neither is Activision. A lot of people like to, to just look at EA and Activision and say, oh, money whores. But in reality, every publisher wants to squeeze as much money as they can from these games because of the fact that that's, that's their business. You know, their business is to make money from the games that their developers produce. Their business is to maximize their revenue uh, in order to keep releasing these games because if they're not making a good revenue then they're not going to be making these games because they won't be paying the developer companies which won't be making the games because they're not being paid to, for it you know um whether or not you want to ad admit it or want to see it this way uh if there is no money in it then it's not going to be made you know no matter which way the money is is gotten whether that's through a publisher or through donations with the whole you know they have kickstarter these days and a lot of developers go on kickstarter and ask ask for the money that way uh but whether no matter how the money gets there the money's there right so that's that's why a lot of publisher companies want to try to maximize their revenue or i wouldn't even say a lot of them all publisher companies want to maximize their revenue uh, any publisher company that says that they don't, they're lying. But my question to you guys is, did you enjoy Medal of Honor Warfighter? And what do you think about the whole Medal of Honor being discontinued? Myself, I'm a bit disappointed only because of the single player no longer being there. I enjoyed Medal of Honor 2010 single player. I have not fully played the Medal of Honor Warfighter 2 uh, single player, uh, but I am going to get around to it. But as far as with the multiplayer, I really didn't enjoy 2010s. Uh, Medal of Honor 2010's multiplayer th at all and uh, with Medal of Honor Warfighter it just wasn't there for me either uh, I didn't play it as much you know I, I tried to get into it I tried to play it I gave it a chance but um, it always just proved to be something that I didn't enjoy and uh, you know that's that's my opinion your opinion may be different uh, a lot of times on YouTube you see people like bashing each other because they have different opinions and I, that's just childish you know but everybody has their own opinion that's my opinion I want to know what you guys think. If you guys have any uh, comments about that, leave that in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, enjoyable, all I ask in return is to take a few seconds, click that like button, favorite this video, subscribe to my channel for more Battlefield news, GTA news, other gaming news in the future. Until next time, guys, peace.